Hey all, uh, welcome back to uh, People Mover Inc. Where, uh, well, some stuff has happened, not much since you were last here. I've put a couple of um, local lines in in Huntsville and uh, Tulsa. Uh, there's still uh, a huge pile of uh, of cash here, uh, nine million and, and change, uh, right? So yeah, we're we're good there. Now, what I want to do this time, I don't remember what I said I was going to do last time. I really don't. Uh, but what we're going to do is fill in a little bit over here. Um, I want to uh, connect. Um, I want to connect uh, uh, between Tulsa and Everett and DC. Okay, uh, now how I'm going to do that, I'm not entirely certain. Uh, but what I can do, I think, is I can take a, a line off of here and shove it under this road uh, and, and then work from that, right? Uh, at this end. Uh, and I think that is... That is the answer here. So let's just try plumbing that in. Um, where would I want to take that off from? Uh, probably up about here, right? Uh, okay, well. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try it from here. Now, if I do this and I make it flat. Yeah, that's not going to. That's not going to do quite what I want that to do, is it? No, no, it really isn't. So, what do you do about that? Well, I don't want a level crossing on that road. So, I've got a fairly obvious thing I can do. Yeah, you're going to bulldoze the road, build the tracks, and put a bridge in. Well, yeah, that is the obvious thing, isn't it? Right, so if we do this, and do this, and do this, because I need to extend this a bit. Yeah. Uh, and then from here, we're going to come from... Oh, about here um, how does that shape up um, I think that should be fine so if I do that and I do this right then I can just send it out like that right now the real question is, can I get the road bridge in? So if I do this, and then I hump it. Ah. So I can get a bridge that will work. What bridge options do I have here? That one. Yeah, maybe. Uh, what about that one? Yeah, that that looks a little bit more sturdy, doesn't it? Yeah, that one will do. Okay. So, that's got that in there. So, I should go and put my uh, uh, signals back. So, a signal here. Yeah. One here and one here. This is not ideal, that's too short, but that's the way it's going to be for the moment. I'm also going to need a signal here. And uh, Why did I double track this part of it? Uh, that's just so that I can get, uh, I can have a waiting point here. Uh, and ultimately, we're going to come out of here and head towards Charlotte as well, I think. Or are we coming out of here for Charlotte? 
Now we'll be coming out of here for Charlotte across that way. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that, right? So now what do we do? Well, I need to uh, bring this bring this over toward Everett. Okay. So we can do it this way. Yeah, that looks approximately right. Okay. And then we can do this, right? Okay. Now I need to put a station in over here at Everett, right? Now, the question is, which direction should be the primary direction for the station? And I think it should go... I think it should go this way. Because we have a sort of a main line coming up this way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. So where are you going to put it? Here? Well, get a station. Yeah, uh, 80 meters. It's going to want two tracks in this case. And we Yeah. Yeah, I know that was way the wrong way around. Okay, so we can put this uh, here. Yeah, we can put it there. Uh, okay, so that's Everett. Now, I'm going to need to come in this way and this way, I think. Okay, so let's, uh, let's work on, uh, let's start the uh, uh, thing going again. Uh, you know, so we don't run out of uh, cash, right? So, we're going to come out across the street here, right? And I'm going to double track it for a short distance here. Okay. And we're going to need to do that over here as well for a short distance. Right? Okay. Now... Uh, up here, I'm going to double track it because I have the cache all the way up to there in the town. Oh, look, we're crooked compared to the street. Yay. Um, right. And then up about here, we'll head off toward DC. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll deal with down there after. Okay. Uh-huh. And now we need to, to bend around. Well, let's go straight for a moment here. And then we'll bend around. Uh, where? What do we get if I... Oh, that's not a terrible swan neck. Yeah, but I don't like the elevation business that's doing. Okay. So if we back this up to here and build this straight out to I don't know here let's make that level why because oh we're becausing are we yeah we're becausing um, I think perhaps a uh, slightly sharper turn here um, angled about like that. Yeah. Um, I don't understand why it did that. Okay. So we only need to come up to about here, right? And then we can do this, okay? Now, uh, we can come up nice and straight to here. And then, uh-huh, we come up nice and straight to here. 
Let me back this up ever so slightly. That wasn't ever so slightly, you know. Yeah, I do have this distinct impression that was not ever so slightly. Um, is that lumpy? Um, not really. Okay, so we'll go with that. Right, so we have a track coming out there. Good. Okay, so I'm going to need a signal here, right? And then we're going to need some signaling up here. And we'll start with this. Uh, one here. And I suppose... Suppose I can leave that that way. Okay. Don't need a crossover here. Because it's going to be through running. And then we need to come down here to Huntsville, was it? No, it was Tulsa. Right. Okay. So Tulsa is going to come in off of this. Okay. So tracks. Do this. Flat. Do this. Single track it. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing over here that I did on the other end. So I'm going to do this. And this. And this will need to extend just a little bit further. Right. There we go. Okay. Now... I need to uh, I need to come out a little bit straight here. Well, need is a bit of a strong word there. So we'll do this and this. Yeah. Okay. Now this will bend up this way and it will come up here. Then it will come around like um, no, we'll bring this up a little bit further. Okay. Now Yep. Okay. So that gets us all the way to Tulsa, right? So I need to put a couple more signals in. You know, the usual signaling business. Uh, we need one here. We need one here. We need one here. Yeah, okay. So, based on that, uh, it's uh, that's a full line that goes Tulsa, Everett, D.C. So, I'm going to need a couple of trains on that. Where's my depot down here so as usual we need one of those and we need i don't know two of those three and we'll buy two trains yep and these will go on a new line that goes from uh tulsa to everett to dc to Everett. Okay. And that's going to be Tulsa to Washington, D.C. Right. Okay. Now, let's, um, let's find our trains on that. Uh, probably be this guy. And let's, uh, let's take a ride on here and just see, uh, let's just see how well that, uh, that works out. So, uh, that's, uh, a little bit of the, uh, the planning there, right? Uh, you need to figure out just how you're going to bring your stations in. And since we don't have multi-level, multi-directional stations in the game, uh, well, you, you can do it. But with some mods, but the mods that I found 
do not work particularly well. Uh, they're fiddly, uh, and a lot of them, they don't work in 1850. Uh, and there, there's a whole, whole raft of reasons why it's not so ideal. They're also really fiddly to link the various levels. So I don't, uh, I don't usually bother with them unless there's a reason to. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically uh, the, the situation there. Now, uh, I could put a second uh, platform uh, or, or, or station, uh, you know, within the catchment of the first one. And they will interchange passengers, uh, you know, so, so that's a possibility if things are really awkward. But the problem is you can't stack them. And that's, that's, the, uh, that's the thing that's a little bit annoying, right? Because you can't stack them. It, it makes it uh, a little less convenient. And we're obviously waiting for something to happen here. wonder what. Oh, there's a train coming the other way. And do we leave now? We leave now. Now we go up here and we wait. Okay. So I figure must have been waiting for a train to go this way and then a train to come back. Yeah, that's probably it. This is the thing that uh, single track lines uh, do for us, right? Uh, we end up with a lot of queuing, waiting at, at sightings and so on. It's actually quite quite realistic uh, compared to uh, uh, real railroads. Uh where they don't double track everything just because, right? Uh, although it's way, way easier in the game because we don't have rail traffic control. The signals are kind of standing in for rail traffic control, the signal logic. That's what the path signal business is all about. But uh, because we don't have rail traffic control to deal with situations and to, to uh, control access to tracks, we have to do that with the signals. And that's also why you can't put signals in the middle of these single track sections in game. Uh, well, in reality, you could have signals uh, all along single track sections, uh, you know, so you can have multiple blocks in the single track and you have multiple trains going the same direction. You can't do that here or you end up with uh, trains uh, facing each other. And uh, that's just not something that is uh, uh, reasonable to, uh, to try and uh, figure out how to deal with automatically, right? Uh, whereas in reality, uh, the traffic control and scheduling would make sure that that didn't happen. Um, we're still heading for Tulsa. Now, uh, we're still um, a little bit away from that. Okay, just waiting for a train to leave here. Right. Because we're running through, we don't pull into the platform. That, I think, is actually a bug uh, in uh, the design of Transport Fever. Uh, and it's been the, the case since Transport Fever 1, as the, from in my personal experience, and probably since Train Fever. Uh, it's a bug in the design. Uh, the uh, implied uh, uh, signals in the platforms really need to have, uh, really need to apply also to through trains, uh, or at least optionally apply to through trains, so that they they uh, the stations can serve as passing places without having to place extra signals, right? Um, yeah, we're waiting for a train to come the other way. There, I believe there it is. Yeah, so that basically, um, uh, I haven't encountered a signaling system in a train building game or a game with train network building yet that uh, quite gets it all right. Uh, I'm sure there's some out there that get it better, but I haven't encountered any that get it quite right. And that's, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but... I don't know. I don't know how you would. That that's a thing, right? It's not an easy problem. I, uh, but what we have in Transport Fever Two, at least, does allow uh, trains to uh, 
uh, at least not stack up on top of each other and crash and whatever, right? And that's uh, that's a big uh, that, that that's a big help, right? You know, it allows traffic to move, right? Um, okay, so we're headed off here. Um, is the next stop Tulsa? Or is it Huntsville? Um, it's Huntsville. Right? Okay. Okay, there's a train in the way. Yay! Uh, this is actually uh, one of the reasons I, uh, I wanted to try the uh, single depot uh, idea. Uh, for at least a while until I get frustrated with it. Uh, because deploying trains means that new trains have to go over the existing network to get to uh, where they go in service. Um, I do kind of wish we still had to send trains back to the depot for upgrade. Uh, the problem is when you send trains to the depot in Transport Fever 2, they forget what line they're on. And that... I really, really wish it didn't do that, because that's just not, um, that's not helpful, right? It's, it's quite annoying, right? Or if there was a button, send to depot, remember line, you know, that would be, that would be fine too. Uh, right, okay, so we're heading off here, and we run into a, a converging track. There's... Yeah, okay, this should be Tulsa. Okay, so we picked up some. Now we're heading for Everett. Yes, this is the, the correct one. I'm not going to ride every single train from the depot out to its service point. Uh, I just wanted to uh, see the, uh, the line, right? And I don't want to do another project in this episode. Uh, not a big one, anyway. Uh, you, you know, it's, uh, I, I got the, uh, line to, from Tulsa to DC going, so that's, I think, a reasonable, uh, project, right? Okay, I want to see how this, uh, run through Everett looks. Not terrible, actually. Yeah, not terrible. Yeah, the the corners are not terrible. I'm I'm okay with that. It it it's actually uh, looks uh, quite uh, quite reasonable. So yeah. So the idea here, ultimately, as I've said, is uh, going to be a. Uh, Fairly, uh, a fairly complete network of single track rail, uh, probably denser in around the uh, central deployment point here, and uh, probably get sparser further out. Okay, so we had a fair hill there. And in we come at DC. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Oop. Okay, there is something I need to fix here. I need to... Uh, get... A... Uh, crossover going the other way. And then we go in here. And we go terminals. Um... We move this to Terminal 2. Yeah. Overview. And we have 120 waiting on the Huntsville to DC line. Wow. Okay. So this is where we actually uh, go in here. And we edit that. We add a passenger car to each one. Okay. 
good. That will uh, that will uh, increase the capacity by a third uh, ish. Uh, it'll slow the trains down slightly. Uh, right. So let's just take a look here at DC. Uh, you can see here we've got a fairly dense operation going here. And if we check in here, we're at the capacity, right? So, yeah. Oh, we've got a... We've got a loop-de-loop -loop situation here going. Okay, so... Uh, terminals move this to terminal 2. Do we still have a loopy? Yeah, we do. Okay. Terminals. So 4 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2. And then we go to... Give it a line color I can actually see. Okay. Yep. That is better. Okay. And there's something else that I want to do here. I want to upgrade this. Yes. Okay. Right. Good. Uh, right. So that's the sort of thing when you notice it, you know, uh, a misbehavior like that, uh, something loopy like that, uh, you should fix it. Yeah. Um, that's just, uh, a sensible thing to do. And, uh, yeah, three, oh, it's growing some more. Okay. Uh, as, oh, it's probably because we cleared out some of the overage, uh, there, like, your capacity overage. Yeah, probably. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, that I think is going to be enough for this uh, this episode. Uh, that's a project we got a line in from DC through Everett and into Tulsa. So that brings Everett into the uh, the connections. And I think, if I remember, I'll bring Charlotte uh, through to Huntsville and maybe on to Chicago. Maybe. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look into uh, the possibility. Um, Charlotte, Everett, um, you know, maybe I run the Everett line down and just skip the connection here and come down to Chicago. Yeah, just, just come right past. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'll I'll do. Uh, I'll probably change my mind before the uh, the episode. But anyway, that's um, that's where we're at. So I will mention on the way out that I do have a Patreon. So uh, it, um, if you want to support the channel, well, that's an option. You know, the link will be in the description. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine too. You know, it's it's your money, right? You put it where you want. Uh, and speaking of money, uh, there's no money options like uh, commenting and subscribing and liking, you know, all that business that you can do uh, or don't, you know, uh, you, you don't have to, you know, it's, it's your, your YouTube account, isn't it? Well, anyway, all of that said, I guess I'll see you back next time.